Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at fractions word problems. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so looking at question one, what we've got here is we've got Sarah's baking, make a batch of cookies using three quarter cup of sugar. If she used half cup for the first tray and the rest for the second tray, how much sugar did she use for the second tray? So what we've got is we've got actually got a fraction that is three quarters and we are doing take away a half and we're trying to figure out what that is going to be and if you've been following uh, this particular video series then you know that when it comes to different denominators uh, whether it's adding or subtracting fractions we've got to make sure that the denominators are the same before we do the adding or subtracting so in this case we've got two and four so we know that the lowest common multiple between two and four is four so I need to convert that one over two uh, especially that two I'm talking about this two here, I need to convert it into a four. And the way I'm gonna do it is by multiplying the denominator by two. And I've also got to do the same for the numerator. I've got to multiply the numerator by two. So when I do this, I am going to end up with uh, three over four minus two over four. And because four is the, well, the denominators are the same. So I write it down, I write that down first and then I've got three minus two, which is equal to one. And if you think about it, you know, if she's got three quarters cup of sugar and she used half, we kind of can't say that, you know, quarter cup is what's remaining. So that's just how to do this question. Looking at uh, question two, we've got a car that's got four fifths filled with four fifths of gas. So that's four over five. And what we've got is after a road trip, the tank was a quarter full. Uh, what fraction was used for the road trip? So we've got four fifths minus a quarter. And once again, what we've got to do is we've got to look at the uh, lowest common multiple between five and four, because for these two particular fractions, the denominators are not the same. So we know the lowest common multiple is 20. So I'm going to multiply the denominator by four here and the numerator by four. And as for the quarter, I'm going to multiply it by five and the numerator by five. So when I do this, I am going to get 16 over 20, take away five over 20. And carrying on here now because the denominators are the same I can put that as 20 and then 16 take away 5 is going to be 11 looking at question number three question number three is we've got Amy and Bob painted a wall together and we paint two-fifths Bob painted three-sevenths and uh, what fraction of the wall do they paint together? So once again, I would like to add this two numbers here. And if you think about it, between seven and five, the lowest common multiple is 35. Um, because the denominators are different, I've got to make them the same. So I'm going to do five times seven and two times seven for the left-hand side fraction. And for the right-hand side fraction, I'm going to do seven times five and three times five. And when I do this, I get 14 over 35 plus I get 15 over 35. So from here, what I can say is 35 is the, well, the denominator is the same. And then 14 plus 15 is going to give me 29. Finally, looking at question four here, uh, question four, baking a cake recipe calls for three quarters cup of milk. She already poured a third of the milk. How much more milk does she need to add? Okay, so we, that means we've got three over four minus one over three. And once again, we need to have the denominators to be the same numbers. So what we're going to do is four times three and three times three. And for the right-hand side of right-hand fraction, we're going to do denominator, which is three times by four times by four. And when we do this, we get nine over 12, take away four over 12. And of course, that means the denominator now is the same, which is gonna be 12, and then nine take away four is five. Now, of course, you can actually do this with the um, calculator as well. And what we're going to do is just do a quick check, because uh, I know I made a mistake. I had to stop the video and rewind it and kind of re-record. But here we go, three quarters minus uh, a half, that's a quarter. You know, we, we're pretty comfortable with that. Uh, then we've got four over five, um, four over five, take away a quarter. 
and that's giving us 11 over 20. Then we're looking at question three, which is two over five, and we're gonna do two over five plus three over seven. And oh, whoa, whoa, that's a lot of mistakes there. I think I did it twice. There we go, let's just go back. And we've got three over seven right there. Much better. And that's giving us 29 over 35. And finally, the last question is three quarters, take away one third. Just checking our answers. And there we go, five twelfths. So um, again, I mean, you know, if you, if you are allowed to use a calculator for these types of questions, uh, feel free to use it. But like I said um, in the earlier videos, um, if you want to get better at algebra at a much higher level, you want to make sure that you're comfortable with um, adding these types of fractions with different denominators. Because uh, in, the, in the senior level maths, you will get um, letters and you won't just be able to plug it into the calculator and get that. So just keep that in mind. But apart from that, um, yeah, that's just a quick little um, summary of word questions for adding and subtracting fractions. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision. And as always, thank you for watching.